Hello, I'm Janice from the Electric Quilt Company, and today I'm going to show you around our BlockBase Plus block printing software. Let's get started! BlockBase Plus is the companion software to Barbara Brackman's book, The Encyclopedia of Pieced Quilt Patterns. The book, which is sold separately, is a reference tool meant for block identification. You can start with a block in a historic quilt and use Barbara's genius system to find the major seam lines in the block, and then identify it. Once found in the book, you can learn more about when and where the block pattern was published and the different names that have been used for the pattern in American publications. You can also flip through the book for inspiration. When you find a block that you like and want to make, that's where BlockBase Plus comes in. BlockBase Plus is block printing software that lets you print foundation patterns, templates, or rotary cutting charts for all of the over 4,000 blocks from Barbara Brackman's encyclopedia at any size you want. It saves you from having to draft the blocks by hand as the book does not contain any cutting or sewing instructions. You can also print or export images or export SVG files to use with your digital cutting machines, embroidery machines, and more. It's standalone software, which means that you do not have to have EQ8 in order to use it. If you do have EQ8, however, you can link the blocks as a library in order to modify the blocks or design quilts using them. More on that later in this video. Let's start with a tour of BlockBase Plus. The left column is the navigation panel. This includes the tabs for the block library, search, and favorites. The block library is open by default and it contains all of the blocks arranged by categories. These categories and subcategories match the arrangement of the blocks in the encyclopedia. On the right, we have the block viewer on the top and the note card panel on the bottom. The note card panel can be made larger so that you can see more information or smaller so that you can see more of the blocks. Across the top of the block viewer, we have menu options for controlling how the blocks appear. You can turn the patch lines off or back on, view the blocks as line drawings in grayscale or in color, and change the size of the blocks and how many can appear in the block viewer at any one time. If you really want to zoom in on a block, go down to the menu just above the note card and click the zoom button. This will give you a nice big view of the block. You can also see the quilt block in seven sample quilt layouts. Click the Quilt Layout button to see these and then scroll through. BlockBase Plus is a block printing software, so you cannot put the blocks into a quilt design unless you link it to EQ8, but this feature lets you see how the blocks look in different settings to help get your creativity flowing. The Note Card panel gives you details on the block that you currently have selected. This information includes the Brackman ID number, which is the same number the block is assigned in the encyclopedia the size at which we drew the block, the category and subcategory in which the block can be found, and characteristics of that category, as defined by Barbara Brackman. It also includes a list of all the published names that Barbara found for that block. If you click on a name, you can get more information about the publication in which it appeared. The search panel helps you find a block quickly so that you can get to sewing. To open the search panel, click on the magnifying glass. On the search panel, you'll see four different ways to search. The first is by Brackman ID number. If you have the encyclopedia and have located a block that you want to make, you can just type in the ID number and then click search and the block will come up. The next search option is by published name. This actually has two ways to search. The first is to scroll through the alphabetically arranged list if you just want to browse. The second is to type a keyword into the search box. For example, you can search Ohio Star, which brings up four blocks that have that block name. Or you can get more search results by just searching for Ohio, which brings up eight blocks, including the four Ohio Stars. The next search option is by category. This lets you search by a combination of options. For example, you can look for blocks that can easily be sewn by beginners, that were found in publications from the 1930s, and which are bird themed. This search gets 28 results. The blocks don't all picture birds, but they have names that evoke birds, like wild goose chase. 
the last way to search Blockbase Plus is by source. This lets you search by publication. For example, 88 blocks were published in Aunt Kate's Quilting Bee. The last tab in the navigation bar is the Favorites tab. You can add a block that you'd like to Favorites by first selecting the block and then clicking the Favorites button above the note card. To remove a block, simply select the block again and click the Remove from Favorites button. Click on the Favorites tab to see all of your favorite blocks. Blocks are sorted on the Favorites tab in the order in which you added them. On the Favorites tab, there are also a number of fun features. First, you can print a contact sheet of all of your favorite blocks. You have a number of options for what information to include and how you want to sort the blocks. Print your favorites and hang them in your sewing room for inspiration or keep track of blocks that you want to make. If you own Electric Quilt 8, you can also export your favorites list as its own library. All the blocks from Blockbase Plus will appear in EQ8 if you own both programs, but this feature makes it easier to find the blocks that you added to your Blockbase Plus favorites when you're in EQ8, so you can get to designing and sewing even faster. Keep in mind that each time you make changes to your favorites library, you will need to export it again for those changes to appear in EQ8. Now that we've found some blocks that we want to make, let's take a look at the various printing options to help you create them in fabric. You can print a block from Blockbase Plus at any size, and there are four printing options. Let's take a look at this block to explore the block printing options. Block printing is a great way to print a large size reference block as you are sewing. Or you can make the block small by clicking custom size, entering the size you want, then selecting the outline drawing style, and checking the print as many as fit option to create a coloring page where you can play with color combinations and design. Now let's look at printing foundation patterns using this block. When you choose print foundation patterns, you can get lots of options for customizing the way the block is put together. If the block is foundation pieceable, Blockbase Plus will suggest sections and a piecing order, but you can change this if you prefer. If you like the sections but want to change the piecing order, you can do that on the numbering tab. Once you're happy with the way the block is sectioned and numbered, you can further adjust the settings to customize the block. Make the blocks rectangular by choosing custom block size, unlocking the aspect ratio lock, and then changing the size. We'll stay at the default size for now. When you're happy with your settings, you can go to the print preview screen. Here, you can move and rotate pieces to change how they fit on the page, reduce the number of pages, and reduce the number of pieces split over the page breaks. Click Print to print your layout, or click Save as PDF to easily save a copy. Blockbase Plus will return to defaults when you finish printing a block, so saving as a PDF is an easy way to keep your customizations to use over and over. You can also print templates from Blockbase Plus. Let's look at this block for an example. Again, once you've selected print, you have a number of options to adjust the sizing, add or remove the seam allowance, adjust the size of the seam allowance if you want a larger margin for something like English paper piecing, and more. You also have the option to print unique templates. If we select that and then go to Print Preview, you'll see that you get one of each shape needed to make the block. Again, you can move them around to fit on one page. Alternatively, you can opt to print all templates. This will give you all of the pieces used to make the block. The print preview screen has a number of great features. You can zoom in using the marquee zoom, which will zoom into the selected area. This makes it easier to move pieces around. You can also zoom in and out using the plus and minus buttons. Click Fit All to view everything on the screen again. You can also add more copies of the same piece. Select the piece, then click Copy and Paste, or use keyboard shortcuts to make more of the same patch. If you accidentally make too many patches or just want a certain shape, just select the patch and then click Delete. To ensure that your printer is printing at the correct size, you can add a 1 inch scale square. This square measures one inch on all sides when printed correctly, so you can be confident that your block templates or foundation pieces are accurate. 
The last printing option is to create a rotary cutting chart. This will give you information on how to cut the patches for the block using a rotary cutter. The chart shows where to make subcuts to create things like quarter square triangles and will tell you how many of each patch you need to cut. Another new printing feature in Blockbase Plus is the detailed view for the rotary cutting chart. The detailed view will calculate the number of strips you need based on the number of blocks and your usable width of fabric. For example, if we want to make 8 blocks and my usable width of fabric is 40 inches, then I will get the instructions for how many of each patch to cut. Looking at the details, I can see that I need 2 strips to cut 32 patches of patch A, and I need 1 strip to cut 8 squares of patch B, which will be further cut on the diagonals to get 32 half square triangles. And I'll need 64 diamonds. In addition to printing, you can also export a few different file types from Blockbase Plus. To do this, we'll select the export button above the note card. You can export an image of a block as either a JPEG or a PNG file and can select the resolution and size of the image. You can also export SVG or scalable vector graphic files. Blockbase Plus is the first software from Electric Quilt to have this option. SVG files can be read by your digital cutting machines, embroidery software, 3D printers, and more. And we have detailed tutorials on our support site to assist you in using the files. Choose the resolution that works best with your particular software, and keep in mind that you might need to experiment. You can also choose the size you want the finished block to be, if you want to export an image of the block, or templates, which gives you the individual shapes for the piece. If you select templates, you can adjust the seam allowance, or enter zero if you want no seam allowance at all. Choose to export unique or all templates, just as in the template printing options, and turn mirroring on or off, which is useful if you're cutting fabric for applique. Then click export. The exported template file will also include a 1-inch scale square to help you make any adjustments to the file once you have imported it into your SVG reading software. Please be aware that all SVG reading software is different, so you may need to make some adjustments to ensure the sizing is what you wanted. As I mentioned previously, Block Base Plus is standalone software. This means you do not need to own Barbara Brackman's book or any other program in order to use it. If you happen to own our quilt design software, Electric Quilt 8 or EQ8, then you can link the two in order to be able to edit the blocks or use all of the Block Base Plus blocks in your EQ8 quilts. If you install and open Block Base Plus after installing EQ8, then the two programs should automatically link. We have a help page for how to link them manually on our support site if for some reason the Blockbase Plus blocks do not appear in EQ8 automatically. Keep in mind you may need to make sure your EQ8 is up to date. To find the Blockbase blocks in EQ8, go to Libraries, Block Library, and scroll down to the end of the navigation list. You'll see Blockbase Plus listed. Click on the name to expand it, click on a category, then a subcategory, and you'll see the blocks. If you've exported your favorites list for EQ8, you'll see an additional library that contains your favorite blocks from Blockbase Plus. Again, click to expand it. If you have more than 256 blocks in your favorites, you may see more than one block style listed with the names favorites 2 or 3. Once you've found the blocks, you can easily select one and add it to your sketchbook or edit the block to the work table in order to use it in your quilt designs. When you first get Blockbase Plus, you might be wondering how to learn all of its features, and I want to show you all the help options that are built into Blockbase Plus. When you open the software for the first time, you'll see a pop-up screen with lots of information on Blockbase Plus. You can always find this screen again by going to Help and selecting the Getting Started on Screen Tour. You can also quickly access all of our lessons and support articles by clicking either on the Help question mark in the upper right corner of the program or by selecting online support articles from the help menu. You can learn more about a specific feature by clicking the help buttons that appear in the various dialog boxes throughout the program. We're always happy to answer your questions and you can reach us via live chat, phone, and email. We'll answer as quickly as possible during our regular business hours or on the next business day if you happen to reach us while we are closed. Thanks for watching this demo with me. I hope that you've enjoyed your peek at Blockbase Plus.